दक्षिणा सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता स्मरिया गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृति पुराणा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम परिज्ञानाश्रम श्री गुरुशंकर परिज्ञानाश्रम शंकर सद्गुरु केशव वामन कृष्ण पांडुरंग आनंद परिज्ञान गुरु सत्यो जात शंकर सद्गुरु गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओं सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीर वहै तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिद्विषा वहै ओं शाति 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 श्रीहरि परमानंदम उपदेष्टारमीश्वर व्यापक सर्वोका कारण तमा सो एज आई सेड इन द लास्ट टू सेशन्स भगवान शंकराचार्य इज स्पेंडिंग अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन ट्राइंग टू गिव अस the details of jagan mithyatvam the first part of aparokshanubhuti was to establish that i the atma is satyam i the atma is the only thing the consciousness one and only consciousness that is there everywhere and then in the second part bhagwan shankar acharya wants to make it very clear to us that it is that very consciousness manifests in various forms in with various names and that that is what is called as the jagat which we are experiencing outside so the jagat which we say or that which i experience the world of my experience is nothing but this atman with a name and form with multiple names and forms one consciousness ekameva advitiya atma brahman manifests itself into millions of names and forms called as the jagat and therefore since the jagat is a manifestation since the jagat is a karyam since the jagat is only a name and form though the jagat is available to us for experience solid experience and transaction this jagat cannot be considered as the absolute reality it is there at the time of experience vedanta does not negate the jagat it does not negate the world it does not negate the body mind sense complex it does not negate the transactions that are happening between the body mind sense complex only what vedanta say is examine the satyatvam that you are giving to this world of objects this jagat of objects persons and situations what is the satyatvam that you are giving if you think that the world is the absolute reality then you will never get out of samsara you will never be able to get moksha because the world being the jagat being absolutely the reality according to you what we will do you will never get out of its clutches but what is moksha shastra says that it is possible to get out of the clutches of samsara it is possible that you may remain in the same world play the same role as you have been play, playing do all the transactions that you have been doing all the time but at the same time you may be totally free from that world and that is only when you realize 
what kind of a reality this jagat is and for that vedanta calls that reality which is the jagat as mithya mithya means not absent that which is there at the time of experience that which cannot exist independently by itself and that which changes that which never remains the same this is the jagat and therefore it is mithya means a lower order of existence atma aham is the paramarthika satyam the jagat is the vyavaharika satyam that is a transactional reality a transactable reality nothing more than that but the jagat really cannot affect me the atma who is the highest order of reality this is what has been told by the scriptures this is the very central message of the scriptures and that is what bhagwan shankaracharya is reiterating again and again and again with various examples he gives examples to prove the jagan mithyatvam he gives examples to say that there is only one atma which manifests in various forms the atma is reality the manifestations are mithya that is what is being told by acharya shankara in this small you know work of 144 verses and we are seeing the same thing we explained in any number of examples you know why bhagwan shankara acharya is giving so many examples because in our day to day life in our day to day existence we have hundreds of such experiences which are real at a time of experience but we realize that the experience might have been there but there is no reality to this experience this is what we realize and therefore bhagwan shankaracharya wants to give the example of mithyatvam of the jagat and satyatvam of the atma by giving these you know tens or twenties or thirties of examples our day to day common experiences this is the beauty of our scriptures the scriptures don't give us some examples which are you know not relevant to us the scriptures always give us examples from our daily lives and those which are relevant to us and those examples in which we out of our confusion and delusion have mistaken one thing for the other we have thought the false to be the reality and the reality to be not there at all that is what we are doing here atma i don't see i say i don't even realize that it is there <clears throat> but what i see whatever is the appearance whatever is my experience i take it as real and this is purely out of my avidya and my moha avidya ignorance of the reality of myself and moha a confusion about what really all this is this is giving rise to what is called as the multiple examples of mistaking one thing for the other the jagat is mistaken to be satyam and that which is satyam i the atma is never recognized this is because of my ignorance and such examples are being discussed here and we went up till the 77th verse last time till 86th verse till almost you know for another 10 verses there is going to be a discussion on the various day to day examples by which bhagwan shankara wants to make us realize that what we are experiencing many times is not the reality the reality is something else and we may experience something solidly but that's not the reality it is something else that's what he wants us to see that's why he is giving so many examples from i think the 62nd or 63rd verse onwards he started and he is going to go up till the 86th or 87th verse giving us the examples of our day to day confusions the day to day confusions which lead us to mistaking the real for something which is not it mistake is that mistake means what 
taking one thing for the other by mistake, by ignorance. So it's a mistaken notion of the Jagat, of the experiences with this Jagat, which we consider as real. Please look into these examples, he says. Everyday examples, he's stressing so that we are able to see a similar thing when Jagat, Jagat Mithyatvam is talked about. So we saw in the 77th verse last time, Pitatvam hiyata shubhre doshavad bhati kasyachit tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnyana yogataha. As I said in the last few verses onwards, that is from the 75th words onwards, for another 10 verses, the second line remains the same. Tadvat atmani dehatvam pashyati agnyana yogataha. Because of my association with ignorance, because I am ignorant, because of this ignorance, out of the confusion and delusion, I see dehatvam in atma. Atmani dehatvam pashyati. In atma, in me, I see the dehatvam. In me, the atma, I see the anatma. Because I say I am the body. That means what? I am seeing dehatvam in myself. Jeevatvam in myself. Therefore, he says, pitatvam. Like suddenly, by some kind of a dosha, by some kind of a problem, I may start looking at something which is absolutely white, which may look yellow which may look yellow. We, all we also have that particular phrase in English, jaundiced eyes. Really, medically, it does not happen. There is only yellowness in, you know, when you look at the eyes, but the vision does not become yellow. But it's a very common, you know, term which is used. Pitatvam yata shubre doshavad bhati kasyachit. So because of some kind of a dosha in the vision, a shubhra thing appears to be yellow. We see like that when we have a cataract, we see everything as gray and hazy. It's very bright and very clean, but we see things as, you know, hazy. That is not because the thing is hazy, but because my vision is blocked towards it. That is the thing. Sometimes we may see black spots wherever we are seeing, we may see. It's a problem with my eyes. That's why I'm seeing black spots or black lines or a straight line looks crooked sometimes. A crooked line looks as if it's... A, all these are really speaking my experiences, my real experiences, but they are not the real truth. Agnana yogataha or some kind of a defect. Agnana is a defect. Agnanam is called as a mala. Mala means what? It is something that I, the jiva, am afflicted with. Agnanam is supposed to be the subtlest of the mala, subtlest of the impurity. Ragadveshas are there. The gross mala is there over the body. The ragadveshas are considered to be the impurities of the mind. The Arishadvargas, Ragadvesha, you know, then uh, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Matsarya, all these things, they're considered to be the doshas or they're considered to be the malas of the mind. Little subtler than the gross defects or the gross impurities of the body. The subtlest impurity for a jiva is nothing but this Agnanam. Agnanam, what Agnanam? Atma Agnanam. What is the meaning of Atma Agnanam? I do not know my reality. I do not know what really I am. I know I am, but I don't know what I am. This is the subtlest impurity. And that is what is called as the Agnanam. It is this impurity because of which there is a mistaken notion that I see Dehatvam in the Atma. So let us go to the Next verse, that is the 78th verse. Let's see. Chakshurbhyam brahmashilabhyam sarvam bhati brahmatmakam tadvat atmani dehatvam pashyat yagnana yogataha. So we have all experienced giddiness. We have what we call as vertigo, right? We have all experienced giddiness. 
and when we get giddiness sometimes it looks or it feels as if i am only rotating sometimes when this giddiness or this vertigo happens i feel that the whole room is rotating around me when i shift sides when i'm sleeping and when my shift from when i shift from one side to the other or when i get up from the lying position suddenly i feel that either the whole room is turning around me spinning around me or i am spinning now am i really spinning no is the world really spinning no but because of the defect in certain parts here he says chakshur bhyam bramashila bhyam when the eyes are suddenly moving also from one side to the other you know when there is a very rapid movement of the eyes when you are looking here there here there and from one thing to the other suddenly you feel that kind of a dizziness sometimes because of the problems in the ears i feel that kind of a rotating feeling where i am rotating turning spinning around and the whole world is spinning around me but is the world really spinning spinning around me no chakshur bhyam bramashila bhyam when the eyes are reeling moving very fast from one place to the other this way that way when i try to move my eyes or when i move my head from one direction to the other bramashila bhyam because they are moving very fast or suddenly when i move my head very fast or when i look up like this with my neck stretched beyond a certain extent sarvam bhati bhramatmakam everything looks as if it is spinning it is rotating tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnyana yogatah the spinning is happening because of what some defect in my sense organs it may be the eyes it may be the ears it may be anything else in my brain something might have gone wrong so all this is happening only because of the defect in me when i perceive something either because of the problem in my eyes or problem in my ears so he says tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnyana yogatah in a similar way i give or i see dehatvam in atma because of this defect called as agnyanam there is an avaranam this agnyanam or avidya is veiling my intellect veiling in such a way that i do not know who i am partial a thin veil of ignorance i know i am nobody can challenge me that you don't know you are i know i am i am here i am here i am aham asmi is something nobody can deny i know it but who am i that i aham asmi who am i who am i that i who is it this i that i am talking about that i do not know this is called as the avaranam of avidya avaranam of maya a very subtle veil a very thin veil of ignorance covers my intellect as to the real understanding seeing who i am that is not there tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnyana yogatah because of the associated agnyanam then in the next verse in the 879th verse he says अलातम भ्रमणे नैव वर्तुलं भाति सूर्यवत् तद्वद् आत्मनि देहत्वं पश्यत्य ज्ञानयोगतः another example of day to day example during our deepavali time when we are lighting crackers especially the sparklers what we call as the sursurbatti you know the sparkler we light it and what do we do as children what do we do we go on rotating it and when we rotate it alata means a fire brand a stick or something at the end of which there is fire that is called as the alata even if you take a, a incense stick with a bright tip 
which which is having you know the brightness or the bright tip which is there even that can be called as alata any fire head fire brand which has got a head of bright fire there in any form now when you rotate this sparkler you feel as if there is a circle of light you know when you have done it like and as children we took pride in making all kinds of shapes we made all kinds of shapes with this sparklers correct we made alphabets out of it we made geometrical figures out of it shapes out of it so what happens here when the alata is really is there it's just one point of fire at the end of a, a stick or whatever it is but when i move it in a certain direction either in a straight line or circularly or zigzag or whatever it is however i turn the fire brand the same design is formed now that design formed is experienced by me but what is there is there really a design there no what is there is only the alata only the fire brand is there there is nothing else there there is no shape there i may even write my name on that and i'll see a bright my name written there you know i see it in the space but is it really there it is not there then what is there only the alatam is the reality that point of light is the reality but all the shapes that happened were because of the movement of my hands holding it so he says alatam brahmane na eva vartulam bhati suryavat vartulam means a circle alatam brahmane na eva that alata or the fire brand when you know i am you know you can even take a torch for that matter it need not be a fire brand only you can even take a pen torch or a small torch or even your mobile phone torch you can take that any point of light you know and when you brahmane naiva when you turn it around you give it a shape vartulam as if there is a circle most commonly we do that isn't it we go 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 on rotating it like a circle so that shape of the circle comes vartulam bhati there is an appearance of vartulam a circle suryavat almost it shines like the sun like the sun it shines round body of light it appears like the sun but then is it really there no neither that shape is there nor the sun is there only what is there is a point of light that is all so you might have seen that when people are doing some presentations and all they have this red tipped or green tipped or blue tipped laser torches you know and they go on showing like this like this they keep on showing us so what is what is happening there no shape is there there is no circle of light there but the circle of light is experienced by me as if it is there which is because of not because of the light but because i have moved that thing which contains light similarly tadvadatmani dehatvam that is why when the body is moving i say i am moving when the body is running i say i ran to catch the bus when the body is sitting i say i am sitting here for some time i am lying down for some time i am traveling by train so what is traveling by train what is moving what is walking it is nothing but this body which may be sentient which has borrowed sentient whence from me the atma but the movement of the body i transfer it to the movement of myself and i say i am moving when the body falls down i say i fell down correct when the body gets injured i say i got injured when the body has an accident i say i had an accident i didn't have an accident i the conscious it's the body which had so atmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogatah because of that subtle impurity called as agnanam then in the 80th verse he says 
महत्वस्तूनाति दूरतः तदत्मेह सो हियर ही सेस महत्व सर्व ही अति दूरतः देर इज अूज मउंटेन और बेग टॉल हिल वेन आई एम ट्रैवलिंग समवेर again see i am traveling <laughs> so you know when this body is traveling this sense organs are perceiving things around what happens there is a big or a tall hill somewhere very far away but it looks very small to me when you look down from the window of an aircraft the trees look very very small isn't it when you look at a hill from a distance you think that the whole hill is covered by a carpet of green but there are tall trees there there are tall trees there on those hills but they don't look we don't we can't see the we can't see the trees it looks as if the whole hill or the mountain is green isn't it hmm so when you look at you know it seems when you look at the kailas mountain from manasarovar it looks a particular particular size because it's we see it from a little distance but when you go near it as you go nearer and nearer you'll find that it's not really as small as i thought it to be it is much bigger much larger than what i really thought it thought it to be a mountain or a hill i want to go for trekking i look at that particular hill and says oh it looks quite easy to trek or quite easy to climb it looks smooth enough but then when i go near i find that there are so many rocks there are so many trees and it's not at all smooth as i found it from a distance it's difficult to trek that so what he says is mahatve sarva vastunam anutvam hi ati duratah simple example let's take of the sun the example of the moon the moon looks so small when we look from here the sun looks so small when we look from here the rising sun may look a little big a setting sun may look a little bigger but otherwise as we see it looks so small is it really small no it is thousands of times bigger than this earth itself the moon looks to be so small is it really that small no it is not small the stars from here they look very small but are they really small some of the stars may be bigger than even our sun so what he says is from a distance even a very very big and large thing appears small okay similarly this is a mistake it's a mistake because of the distance because of the distance similarly tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogatah similarly when there is this distance of ignorance between i the atma and this intellect the distance the distance of ignorance ignorance itself is causing that distance which i don't even see myself as what i am though atma is all pervasive it is one and the only consciousness everywhere but then i am not able to see it why agnana yogatah because of this agnana because of the distance it's literally as though this agnyanam has distanced me from myself it has distanced me from myself i do not really recognize myself as what i am what really am i don't cognize myself to be that so much of distance is created between me the intellect the jiva and atma that is the reality i because of this agnyanam so ati duratah 
फ्रॉम ए लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस सर्व वस्तूना अणुत्व महत्व अभी सर्व वस्तूना महत्व अभी अणुत्व दो दे आर बिग दे एपियर स्मॉल अणुत्व मीन्स स्मॉल दे एपियर टू बी स्मॉल सिमिलरली द डिस्टेंस दैट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बिट्वीन मी एंड द रियल मी इज सो मच created by this ignorance that i don't see myself to be what i am i am the what biggest nitya shuddha buddha mukta atma sarvagata atma there is no place without me the consciousness but how do i look at myself i look at myself as one small limited puny body that's it. that's the way i look at myself because of the distance caused by ignorance we can say that because of the distance of ignorance it has you know made me not to see myself the greatness of me as ekam eva advitiya atma which is the adhisthanam of everything mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishtitam mai sarvam layam yati i don't see that greatness in me i see myself to be this limited small body because of the ignorance this ignorance has created that tremendous distance between me and my reality then in the next verse in the 81st verse he says next sukshvatve sukshmatve sarva vastunam स्थूल चोपने तत्मेह पश्यन योग सो एनदर द ऑपोजिट नाउ शंकराचार्य गिव्स एन ऑपोजिट एक्साम्पल ओके देर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल थिंग अ वेरी स्मॉल थिंग अ बैक्टीरिया i cannot see it not like your detol advertisement where you know you put a, a magnifying glass and uh, see the you know the germs over your hand that it's nothing like that there may be so many germs so many microorganisms in and around me on my hands right now here everywhere there may be so many microorganisms i don't see them sukshmatva but when i use an aid like a microscope you know and take a small you know kind of a swab from my hand or something and see i'll see those things teeming i see the bacteria there i see them under the microscope so the lens of the microscope is an upanetra upanetra means what a gadget which i use to supplement my vision okay that is one example another example a book which contains which has very small letters okay i, I can't see them i wear spectacles now if i remove these spectacles i can't read this book in front of me i can't because of problem with my reading near reading so i have to use an upanetra that is the spectacles i have to use i may have to use microscope to see something there are people who do read some of the senior citizens read newspapers holding a magnifying glass suppose when you have a very small screw or something which you have to tighten you don't know where it is where the threads are where it is then you use a magnifying glass to magnify something which is very small we use a telescope to magnify the distant stellar objects correct don't we use a telescope we use a microscope we use a telescope we use spectacles sometimes when we can't hear we use even hearing aids to see that the subtle sounds are magnified we use amplifiers we use speakers isn't it you know when we want to hear it you know in a louder way we we use speakers we use amplifiers to we use mics microphones to expand or magnify our sound so that which was subtle 
can be magnified by using upanetra here me says he uses upanetra as something for seeing when there are very subtle things which i cannot see with my own eyes my regular eyes i use certain visual aids which are called as upanetras may they be spectacles may they be with microscope or a telescope or whatever scope it may be okay so सूक्ष्मत्वे सर्व वस्तूनाम स्थूलत्वम च उपनेत्रतः नाउ डू आई से दैट नथिंग इज देयर बिकॉज आई कांट सी आई कांट सी द बैक्टीरिया हियर सो डू आई से दे आर नॉट देयर दे आर देयर बट वेन आई सी द सेम सरफेस अंडर अ माइक्रोस्कोपिक लेंस विच यू नो एनलार्ज इज इट अ थाउजेंड टाइम्स और मोर देन आई सी वॉट आई कुड नॉट सी isn't it similarly just like the sukshmatvam of the things you know cannot be seen because of the defect of myself or because of the very sukshmatvam itself therefore similarly i do not see myself the atman as i am and i look at it as the deha tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati अज्ञानतः अज्ञान योगतः इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ माय एसोसिएशन विथ अज्ञान नाउ अनदर टू थ्री वर्सेस वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द सेम काइंड ऑफ एग्जांपल्स ऑल दीज एग्जांपल्स आर गिवन बाय आचार्य आउट ऑफ अ कंपैशन फॉर अस दैट एटलीस्ट आउट ऑफ दिस थर्टी एग्जांपल्स गिवन एटलीस्ट वन और टू एग्जांपल्स मे click in our heads and see how we are making a mistake something which is big we say is small something which is very small we say we can't see but we can definitely see it when we have some aid similarly atma being so subtle we don't know what it is and because we don't know we say it is not there but then the our uh, you know scriptures they act as the mirror and they show us that look this is what you are it's not a matter of seeing atma is not a matter of seeing it's a matter of understanding atma is not a vastu to be seen it's not an object to be experienced by my sense organs but it is something which should be understood by me as to what i am all these examples are being given only for that purpose so tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnyana yogatah then in the next verse another example is given here we are quite surprised that bhagwan shankaracharya is giving the example of glass <laughs> i don't know whether at the time of bhagwan shankaracharya whether glass was there or not we don't know but anyway let us see that somebody asked that how how can you say was the bhagwan shankaracharya's time glass was there plastic was there well that that's not the intention here it is to understand the example okay and this example is relevant even today whether bhagwan shankaracharya himself wrote this example or later somebody added this example we do not therefore let us see now the 82nd verse let us see kacha bhumau jalatvam va जलभूम हि काचता तेहत्व पश्यज्ञान सो हि से सपोजिंग देर इज अ शीट ऑफ ग्लास लाइन इट कैन बी मिस्टेकन फॉर वॉटर करेक्ट सिमिलरली जलभूम हि काचता सपोजिंग देर इज वॉटर and it's really shining in the sunlight it may be mistaken for glass we have that story in mahabharat no like when uh, you know kauravas went to the indraprastha indraprastha nagari where that wonderful palace was built by you know the pandavas and duryodhana was walking looking at the various you know the the grandeur of this particular palace and then when he was walking he mistook a water body you know to glass 
because it looked like floor it looked like shining floor and he fell into the water and draupadi is supposed to have seen it and laughed which was really thought to be one of the reasons why you know draupadi was humiliated in public by kauravas that's what the story in mahabharata goes so at that time also in palaces it shows that probably they had these kind of things which gave a lot of delusion into whether it is a floor or whether it is a shining floor or whether it is glass so he says kacha bhumau on a surface of kacha bhumau means in the glass you know in in the floor or when a sheet of glass is there it may give me an appearance of water we don't know whether glass floors were there at that time we don't know maybe they were there in big palaces and all we have no idea but then when we see a sheet of it's relevant to us now anyway let us take its relevance now supposing we have a glass floor okay we have some houses like that there are glass floors and there is water underneath like fountains and all and you really get confused and you don't know whether you should put your foot there or you should cross that over so like that so kacha bhumau jalatvam on a sheet of glass you can see water jala bhumau hi kachata in the jala bhumau when there is water there sometimes you know a calm you know surface of water in bright sunshine it literally looks like a sheet of glass tatvadatmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogatah what he is trying to say here is the confusion that can occur out of confusion i can take glass to be water i can take water to be glass but actually speaking that has happened because of my delusion and confusion caused by my ignorance and similarly this atma i take it to be anything i say i am the body i say i am the mind i am the sense organs so i mistake myself the atma for anything and everything so he says here tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogatah as long as i remain an agnani agnani from the point of view of atma gnanam not from the vishaya gnanam laukik gnanam vishaya gnanam nobody can be 100% gnani okay there is so much to know there is so much that i don't know you can never say that i am a complete gnani as far as the jagat is concerned but as far as i am concerned as far as the atman is concerned if i know aham atma asmi ayam atma brahma aham brahma asmi iti if that knowledge has sunk into me that is complete knowledge total knowledge there is no more to know there is nothing else to know so he says tadvat atmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogatah then another example he says yadagnau manitvam hi manau vavahni tapuman tadvat atmani dehatvam pashyat agnana yo pashyati agnana yogatah so he says here that sometimes when the fire is a, a, a big conflagration of fire is lighted and sparks of many types shapes sizes are coming out of this particular conflagration of fire some of these red sparks may resemble a precious stone a ruby it may resemble a coral it may resemble a diamond that shining sparkling spark as it comes out we can mistake them for anything we can mistake them for you know any of these precious stones similarly manav va vahini tapuman supposing there is a crystal or there is a money or there is a jewel which is there in the dark room sometimes the jewel can shine even in the dark the jewel can shine with the minimum light it can shine 
all of us are aware because we all wear diamond earrings isn't it how the diamond earrings sparkle like light they sparkle in, even in darkness when you are walking somebody's i know diamonds can really sparkle like fire and a fire spark can look like a precious stone so he says here yadvad agnau manitvam in fire in the sparks of fire i see i mistakenly see a precious stone and in a precious stone manau va vahnita puman human being puman means a human being a person can sometimes see agnitvam in vahnita means what fire sparks of fire sparkling we can see in a gem in a gem stone we can see something sparkling sometimes it said that when gem stones are kept in 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 a room in a dark room there can be almost as if they are you know sparkling with light and you can even see things around them very very you know crystal clear kind of gems so he says here if that can happen if fire can be mistaken for a gem stone and if one can see fireness in a gem stone then similarly atma can be mistaken for an atma body mind sense complex an atma body mind sense complex can be mistaken for the atma which we called what anyonya tadatmyam anyonya tadatmyam i mistake the atma to be the body and i mistake the body to be the real me the atma this kind of an anyonya tadatmyam which has happened because of the mistake mistake because of what agnyanam so this is another common example he gives may not be very common these days but we do see that like for example when you you know when you have this um, deepavali fireworks you know you that fire goes very high and that cracker bursts and all it looks as if you know diamonds are falling from the sky or some beautiful you know uh, this manis or whatever the gem stones are falling it's an appearance it's nothing but the sparks of the fire so that is an example which is given here how mistakenly i can take the atma for the body and the body for atma how i can take it then in the next verse 84th verse he says abhreshu satsudhavatsu dhavan nivayatha shashi tadvat atmani dehatvam pashyatya gnana yogatah abhreshu dhavatsu when the clouds are moving what do i say the moon is you know moving i feel as if the moon is moving that's why we have even nursery rhymes like that we have in kannada we have rhymes like that a child asking the mother why is the the moon running like this is the moon afraid of somebody why is the moon running like this so what happens even a small child sees that so whenever we are looking at you know fast moving clouds on a day when there is bright moonlight and the moon is bright in the you know first half of the month when the moon is bright in the shukla paksha moon we see what do we see we feel as if the moon is moving we don't see the clouds moving but we see the moon moving but if we put enough of you know if we look at it very carefully if our vision is more on the clouds then we'll realize that it is the clouds that are moving and the moon is there stationary so what is this it's an optical illusion similarly we have intellectual illusion about ourselves i don't know who i am so abhreshu dhavatsu satsu dhavan nivayatha shashi shashi means moon when the clouds are moving we feel that the moon is moving in the opposite direction the faster the clouds move the faster the moon is as though moving in the other direction like we already saw that when we are moving we feel as if the the trees and the side of the road is 
moving past us to the opposite direction. He gave an example of a person traveling in a boat where that person who is traveling in the boat sees as if the banks are moving backwards. The trees on the banks are moving backwards. That illusion. So he says here, Abreshu sat sudhavat sudhavaniva yatashishi tadvat atmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogata. In the same way, just like I attribute the motion of the clouds to the stationary moon there, similarly, I attribute bodiness or the body to Atma. The movement of the body is movement of the Atma. Position of the body is the position of the Atma. Because I am falsely transferring the body's condition to the Atma. Th that is how, because of Agnanam, I see myself as the body and nothing else. Then we have two more verses which go with this, this, this kind of you know examples. So let's see the 85th verse. Let us see. Yathaiva digviparyaso mohad bhavati kasya chit tas tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyat yagnana yogataha. Sometimes we confuse the direction. Many times people say, I thought your house was somewhere after this. And I went, I very clearly remember that your house was there. So I went looking for it there. Then somebody told me it is here. I don't know how I got confused. Very common. It is very common. Yathaiva dig vipar yaso mohad bhavati kasya chita. Confusion in the directions is very common. Very common. That's how we lose our, we say, I lost the sense of direction. I did not lose the sense of direction. It's the intellect which lost the sense of direction. So instead of going this side, I went this side. Especially when you have different exits, when you come out of a railway station or when you come out of a, you know, you have different exits and you don't know where you are sometimes. You come out of an exit and you wonder where you are. That is what is called as the Brahma that is caused. That is Yathaiva Dik Viparyasaha. Dik direction. Viparyasaha. Confusion or opposite, you know, direction. Mohad Bhavati Kasyajit. I know it is there, but really it is not there. Mohad. Oh, there was something like this here. So always there is a confusion in the direction. Mohad Bhavati. Even though we know where that place is, we have gone there so many times, but still there are times when we mistake the sense of direction and walk in the opposite direction. It's a common experience with all of us. Very common experience with all of us. Similarly, he says, Yathaiva Dik Viparyasaha. Dik Viparyasa means confusion in the direction and going somewhere in another direction looking for something Mohat Bhavati Kasya Chita, which happens because of confusion and not knowing the place exactly where it is. Tadvad Atmani Dehatvam Pashyati Agnana Yogataha. So, similarly, a person who does not know the correct direction as to who I am, I may lose my sense of direction and see myself as. Something, somewhere, anywhere. So, last verse which has the similar type of things, you know, that Tadvad Atmani Dehatvam Pashyati Agnana Yogata. So, so many examples were there. This is the last verse of such examples which are being given here temporarily for some time. So, Yathasha Shijale Bhati Chanchalatvena Kasya Chet. Tadvad Atmani Dehatvam Pashyat Yagnana Yogataha. Supposing moon is getting reflected in a body of water. When there are waves, the moon looks as though it is moving with the waves. If there is any disturbance in the layer of water, it looks as if there is disturbance in the moon. 
the round moon looks to be of various shapes the round moon seems to be moving with the waves the round moon seems to be broken by the waves we may see multiple moons in multiple waves so yatha shashi jale bhati chanchalatvena just like the as the water is chanchala moving the reflection of shashi the reflection of moon in that you know water which is moving water also seems moving the moon is not moving its reflection is moving moon is not moving kasya chita it appears like that tadvad atmani dehatvam pashyati agnana yogatah in the similar way just like i have seen all these examples now how many nearly 30 examples bhagwan shankaracharya has given some of them may be repetitive but these are what we see in our day to day lives where we get confused and very common is ayyo i you know con- got confused and went somewhere yo i thought it was like this out of confusion it was really not that so all this is what confusion caused out of ignorance and so here he says that bhagwan shankaracharya says here that this is the plight with all of us agnanis that though we know we are we don't know what we are we don't know who we are and anything and everything in this world which is available to us for perception by confusion and by delusion we mistake that to be i so whatever is false we take it to be true like the movement of the moon in flowing water it is an experience there is no doubt you can't deny that experience that you're seeing the moon moving but the reality is it's really not moving it's only an appearance similarly all the transactions that are happening in this world with this body mind sense complex and with the other individuals with the objects with the situations of the jagat our scriptures say is nothing but an experiential reality and that is born out of ignorance and confusion and we get affected by and bound by this only because of our ignorance once i know the reality of myself once i know the reality of the jagat then let the world go through any changes it doesn't matter it doesn't affect me it doesn't bother me it does not cause any sukha dukha or samsara in me and therefore aham atma satyam jagat that is jagat whatever we say mithya this understanding is absolutely necessary and this is a firm understanding in a gnani what is gnanam ultimately atma gnanam is what there is only me the consciousness nothing else and all that appears around me is nothing but an appearance only and when this knowledge is absolutely firm in me then nothing can disturb me i am centered i am centered in my true nature i think we'll stop with this and uh, uh, you know the concept will change the concept means the whatever is going to be explained now will be changing a little so we'll take it up next session om nandantu sadhaka sarve vinashyantu vidushaka avastha shambhavi mestu prasanno stu guru sada sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःखम् आप्नुयात् ओम शान्ति 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 ओम तत्सत्